It's one of the green lungs of the French capital. Inaugurated in 1825, the Canal Saint-Martin runs through five districts of eastern Paris. Our trip starts on the River Seine, just a few hundred meters from Notre Dame Cathedral. This is the harbour master for the Colonel de Natineau. This entrance marks the start of the canal and provides direct access to the Arsenal port. This is Lee, I'm receiving you. Olivier is in charge of this marina, which can accommodate up to 170 boats. In the summer, there are boats that moor for just four to five days. Five days to visit Paris is not a lot. In winter, though, we have people who stay for four or five months. Hello, welcome aboard. The port is the start and finishing point for cruisers along the canal. So in front of us, we have the Metro Line 1, the first electric subway line in Paris. The trip has barely begun, but the boat is already slipping into darkness. This tunnel is 1,852 metres long. This section is perhaps the least known part of the canal. It was covered over in 1860 to facilitate road traffic. The canal used to be essential for transporting goods, but today it's just tour boats and pleasure cruisers that use it and the average speed is just six kilometers per hour. It's very relaxing. There's no stress. The captain, however, can't say the same. We have to be really careful. The tunnel isn't very wide and neither are the locks. We have to squeeze the boat through, moor it, line everything up and not hit the sides. It's not easy. There are nine locks in total along this four-kilometer stretch. Over the centuries, the lock keeper's job has changed somewhat. I'm just going to see if it's moored properly. Alain now manages the entire system remotely. With one mouse and two clicks, we can operate all the openings and closings. He also manages the canal's two revolving bridges. Can all pedestrians please leave the bridge? Mind the barriers, thank you. The road is closed several times a day to let boats through. The whole operation takes a few minutes, which can tend to annoy busy Parisians. The canal has featured in many movies. But in reality, it's a lot less idyllic. Would you jump into the canal? Absolutely not. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Three times a week, a specialist team jumps on board this boat, which is equipped with a kind of giant vacuum cleaner to suck up everything that's floating on the surface. There's a lot of plant waste but that's normal given that it's autumn. But there are also mattresses, food waste and plastic bottles. Every 15 years, the canal is even completely drained and cleaned, and there's always more than one surprise. But that's not enough to discourage daring anglers like Michel. This retired computer scientist knows the canal's 15 or so species by heart. There are one meter long pikes. Some of my friends have found two meter catfish. In the canal? In the canal, yeah. But they never get to take their catch home. We always throw them back in. We'll fish them back out tomorrow. On the opposite quayside, a former warehouse has been converted into an arts center. We've kept it much as it was. We've made a few changes to let the general public in and so that we can put on some shows. But it hasn't been changed too much. Inside, the bags of cement and concrete blocks have all been replaced with a bar. There's also an exhibition space and some artist studios. Uh, 
At night time, a festive spirit lingers along the towpaths. On the quayside and in the former warehouses, the sound of music resonates as far as La Villette. This is the top end of the Canal Saint-Martin and the world on the edge of bustling Paris. At France 24, our goal is to follow the news around the world as it develops and keep you informed at all times. The coronavirus pandemic is hitting us all hard, not just in France, but everywhere. We at France 24 are determined to provide you with reliable and verified information as the world confronts the biggest health crisis for a century. Wherever we are, however best we can, we're trying our utmost to keep on bringing you the very latest news. France 24 is on the ground, reporting from the field in English, French, Arabic and Spanish. Keep watching and reading on France24.com. France 24, our mission is to inform you. Liberté, égalité, actualité.